Hi. Let's talk all about nutrition and what we put in our bodies, what we eat, how we stay healthy. Let's look at this book. It says, Eat Right, Tips for Good Nutrition. Oh, there's our little clue that it's a library book. Miss Simpson helped me find this. Eat Right, Trip Tips for Good Nutrition by Katie Bagley. He looks like he's eating healthy food. Let's see. Here's our title page, Eat Right, Tips for Good Nutrition by Katie Bagley. There's our table of contents. Remember we talked about that? It tells us all the different parts that are in the book. Let's read. I'm going to step over here so you can see the pictures and the words are over here. Good nutrition. Good nutrition is important to your health. Eating the right foods gives you energy. Your body needs proteins, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, minerals, and water. These nutrients help you think, grow, and play. And look, down here it's telling us what a nutrient is. Nutrient. Something that is needed by people, animals, and plants to stay strong and healthy. So healthy foods give us nutrients. The Food Guide Pyramid. The Food Guide Pyramid shows six food groups. It tells you how many servings of food you need each day. Your body needs good choices from each group to stay healthy. All different kinds of good, healthy, yummy foods in that food pyramid. The grain group. Guess what? The grain group includes bread, cereal, rice, and pasta. You should eat 6 to 11 servings every day. Foods at the bottom of the food group, the food pyramid, are made from grains. Grain comes from plant seeds such as oats and wheat. These foods have carbohydrates and fiber. Carbohydrates give your body energy. Fiber helps your body digest food. The fruit and vegetable groups. Oh, yummy. I love fruits and vegetables. Do you? Fruits and vegetables give your body fiber and vitamins. Vitamin C helps your body fight colds. Vitamin A keeps your skin and eyes healthy. Some vegetables also have minerals, such as iron and calcium. Oh, it looks like they're making a healthy snack, maybe a salad. The dairy group. Foods from the dairy group have calcium, vitamins, and protein. Calcium and vitamin D make your bones and teeth strong. Your body uses protein to make strong muscles. The dairy group includes cheese, milk, and yogurt. You should eat two to three servings from the dairy group every day. Guess what? The meat and protein group. The part of the this part of the pyramid includes beef, chicken, pork, fish, eggs, nuts, and beans. You should eat two to three servings from the meat and protein group every day. Foods in the meat and protein group come from animals and plants. Meat, fish, nuts, and beans give your body protein and iron. Protein from these foods gives you energy. The right amount of iron helps you stay awake. Fats, oils, and sweets. Guess what? The top of the pyramid includes soda, candy, cookies, and chips. You should only eat a small amount from these foods. Fats and oils are found in animals and plants. Your body and brain need a little fat to stay healthy. Sweets have a lot of sugar. Sugar gives you energy for a short time. 
drinking water. Guess what? Drinking water makes up three quarters of your body. Your body needs water to stay alive. Water carries nutrients to all parts of your body. Water also carries waste out of your body. Drinking water keeps you cool when you sweat. You should drink at least eight glasses of water every day. Eating right. Following the food guide pyramid can help you eat right. You should also make good food choices. Choose fruits and vegetables for snacks. Eat less sweets and fatty foods. Your body will get the nutrients it needs when you eat right. So that's all about how we can take good care of our body by giving our body healthy food. If we eat healthy food, then we have a healthy body. Try to think about what is on your plate that is healthy food. We have foods that are healthy, we call them go foods, and foods that are not so healthy, we call them slow foods because they slow our body down. I hope you liked this story. I love reading to you. Until next time.